Good evening students, how are you? Punarvas Jai Kumar here. Right, we are on day 4 of the lockdown. How are things going? Well, we've already have told you 3 stories already. So day 1 we spoke about the power of positive expectations. Day 2 was a very important audio clip about the white rabbit and so many of you shared with me your white rabbits and uh, I analyzed the white rabbits and the first white rabbit as I told you was about distractions. Today let me talk about the second white rabbit. I got so many replies and uh, the second most important white rabbit that I found in all your replies was the fear. The fear of failure, fear of uh, you know not being accepted, fear of being alone, fear of being something different, fear of not you know being accepted by the entire crowd, that fear. So that is one of your white rabbits where you get distracted because of that and you will actually uh, try to please the crowd and then eventually lose your way, right? So, uh, you know CH in my Hegde sir, right? So, he handles FR and SFM. He always tells me a story. So, I just want to narrate the story that he tells me. So, this story is about his uh, cousin, right? So, he always tells me the story. I find it very nice. So, I'll want to share it with you. So, his cousin, uh, she was, she came from a very, very small town. Uh, in uh, Karnataka, so in the coastal belt, coastal Karnataka, very small town. So she suddenly came to uh, Bangalore after so many years. Uh, she uh, they, they shifted basically, parents and all shifted. And uh, here in Bangalore, suddenly she was a small town girl, and suddenly to uh, embrace you know the big city life, it was very difficult for her. And mind you, till almost 10th standard, that is standard 1 to standard 10, she had studied in the uh, regional medium, that is the Kannada medium. So she did not know to speak even one line in English, one word in English. It was very difficult, right? So she came and the first day she was uh, supposed to introduce herself. And when she introduced, people started laughing because her English was miserable, Right, her uh, father worked in the petrol bunk and mother uh, worked in factories, weaving clothes and all those things. Uh, it was it was a tough life. There was no money. So that's why they shifted to Bangalore to make a living. And uh, she was ridiculed, mocked at on day one. And she couldn't take it. She, she was very silent. She didn't do anything. She came back home and she decided, okay, let me try learning English. So think about it. First time ever she was learning English was in class 11th or the first PUC that you call it in Karnataka, right? The first pre-university college. So in 11th, she was uh, miserable in English, obviously, and she ended up getting some 45-50% in her first PUC, that is 11th standard. 12th standard, people started mocking her. People never mingled with her. She tried mingling, but you know, she joined an English medium college and then and suddenly people are very modern, people are very you know, upfront with you. And she's coming from a small town. You need to understand where she's coming from, right? Nevertheless, she's like, okay, no problem. Let me see. Let me study. And she had no friends because they felt sort of, you know, uh, embarrassed being around with her. Sad. You would have seen it in the movies and all that. It's okay. She said, no problem. I will do it. And the class teachers also mocked at her. Everything happened. But she studied. She studied. She What she did was she converted those English textbooks into Kannada with her own hand. And she started understanding the language using Kannada language. And then she translated that into English and started. So imagine the hard work that she did. Lot of hard work, lot of hard work. And then what happened eventually? When the results came. Because first PUC, again, 11 standard, she had scored some 45-50%. And this is the best part, guys. In this 12th examination, she scored a state rank, believe it or not. State rank 4, she scored. So in the entire state, in an English medium uh, college, she had scored for the entire Karnataka state rank 4. People could not believe it. Her friends could not believe it. Then there was newfound respect. And uh, then she also contacted Chinmay sir, wanted to know where to join and all that. So then she joined, both of them joined the same college actually. And even in college, her English was not so strong, but she was learning the ropes. And BCom she was doing. And along with BCom, along with Chinmay sir also, she joined CA. She joined CA. She joined Chartered Accountancy course. And she was doing, that time it was called PE1. Okay, the CPT or foundation was called PE1. So she was doing it, she was pursuing it and because of her extreme hard work 
and that indomitable will that never say give up attitude in ca foundation that is actually pe1 where you had to write answers no ticking like cpt she scored all india rank 13 yes friends true story all india rank 13 amazing and uh, obviously she was teaching chinmay sir also and uh, she was she was also doing herself she was you know studying and what happened unfortunately was uh, before her p2 that is her ipcc or pcc that time it was called p2 she fell sick she had a huge bout of uh, bad bout of typhoid and she was bedridden so basically tomorrow is the exam and today she is in the hospital think about it guys she had really worked hard but now she is in the hospital so now her friend her best friend came and she said now is the time to get up now why don't you just go right so with drips in her hand i am not joking it's the truth with drips in her hand the drip bottle in her hand she went and wrote the examination to everyone's bewilderment to everyone's shock she went and wrote the exam though she was with a severe bout of typhoid and that examination my dear friends she scored all india rank 3 think about it all india rank 3 she was felicitated by everybody i am 100% sure she would have probably got rank 1 but for her typhoid uh, you know disease that time and after uh, clearing she joined article ship since her parents were not too well off what she had to do was uh, morning 6 to 9 she had to work somewhere and then she had to uh, travel almost around uh, 20 25 kilometers to reach college so that time uh, in bangalore uh, every day it's it's lot of rush so you won't get a seat so she used to stand in the bus study she had a little pocket book where she had made formula some you know uh, shortcuts and all that she used to study from a small pocket book and she used to study really well and she used to attend college and then at an article ship and again attend evening college so she left her house at around 5 am and used to get back only at around 11 11:30 every single day this happened every single day for 3 years and ca final she got all india rank 39 so very very few people get ranks at all the three levels of ca and not only that mind you she was a kannada medium student a person who could not speak english excelled at it and not only did that but ended up getting all india rank 13 3 and 39 how's the story it's a true story i have a confession to make i'm very sorry i have a confession to make confession number 1 i mean i actually lied to you confession number 1 it is not a she it is a he and confession number 2 chinmaya sir did not tell me this story it is chinmaya hegade sir's story Yes, my dear friends, this is Chinmay sir's story. He is my very, very good friend. In fact, Chinmay sir and I studied in the same college. He was in the elite section, A section, because he was brilliant. I was in the rowdy section, C section. I was a backbencher, always a backbencher. Even to this day, it's a mystery how I became a chartered accountant. Actually, uh, I always call myself an accidental chartered accountant. But we always knew that this guy is a guy who's already scored rank in both the levels. So we always looked up to him in a different pedestal. He has taught me many times. I remember one day before the exam, I used to call him and I used to ask him doubts about income tax, and they were just acquaintances that time. Think about it. A person, my friend Chinmay Hegade sir, who had the fear of not being accepted, who had the fear of not knowing the language who had the fear of presentation not only aced everybody not only slapped everybody in the face with his actions not by words or you know anything or by physical you know by physically assaulting anyone but purely by his actions his tagline always is actions speak louder than words and that is the exact example of ch in my agade sir state rank 4 all india rank Three All India rank sorry thirteen in CPT All India rank three in IPCC and All India rank thirty nine in CA final. He was felicitated by the president of uh, ICI, and he also was felicitated by CS president also. He for the first time in his life went by flight in a suit. First time in his life he wore a suit. First time in his life he went by flight. 
and it was completely sponsored by ICI because very very few people get ranks. And a person who could not speak two words in English today is a trainer to thousands of students. Chinmay Agade sir is an ocean of knowledge in uh, SFM. He actually creates. uh products financial products he worked in a couple of companies for over 5 to 6 years and the company which is founded by i you know people from iim and iit and he was a core member there as well he actually creates financial pro- uh, products i have never seen a man who is more brilliant in excel and who is more brilliant in financial markets than chinmay agade sir and um, he is prolific he can teach any subject why i am telling you all this why i lied to you initially because if i told you that this is the life story of chinmay agade sir you will be saying that this fellow is biased and second you may think this fellow is uh, marketing advait i am not here to market anybody or anything i am just here to give you a glimpse of what people have been through and how i i really look up to him he is my very good friend he is a part of advait he's been part of a training arena with me for over 10 years and he doesn't like me telling this story but for this specially i sought his permission yesterday i said people need to know your story just uh, of course not for anything but to take that fact that a person who had the fear of being not recognized by people fear of not you know uh, being accepted by people a fear of you know complete where Uh, socially he was completely uh, treated as an outcast but today so many people respect him and he gives lot of seminars to actual members members with you know 30 years experience 25 years experience 40 years experience sit with complete spellbound in his sessions where he speaks about financial instruments and financial reporting and uh, you might have seen his videos his english is absolutely fine so in a country where we have been unfortunately branded as you know we will be branded as uh, what do you say illiterate if we do not know english he is one man who his main white rabbit was this and today he is obviously fending for his entire family he is looking after them his dad obviously was working in a petrol bunk he is retired now and he is looking after his family so think about it guys what is our excuse now we have two months we can really study well we can emulate little part of it so he has released a couple of videos before as to how to clear the exam how to plan in the next two months follow it follow it religiously because i have seen with my own eyes i have seen in my own eyes what a great personality he is right i i remember one incident actually uh, it was a combined class in bcom i remember as usual i was in the back bench making um, was talking with st- my friends and just wasting time he was in the front bench and you know in bcom there are three types of faculty one faculty who don't give a shit whether you are doing ca or anything who don't just basically care about you they'll be just like okay this fellow is doing something let him do second type of people very rare they actually encourage you if you do ca it's very rare mind you I, at least in karnataka i don't know about other states so they will be like okay great man you are doing ca come i'll help you third is the most common they hate ca students they just hate ca students i don't know what probably they had done ca and they had failed miserably they just hate ca students so there was this one guy in college i remember he hated ca students he was a very senior accounts teacher chinmay sir is a person who doesn't talk much he just comes does his work and he just leaves chinmay sir was just sitting there he did not do anything but this guy came and he just said why are you talking chinmay sir said sir i'm sorry i'm not talking he said the lecturer said you're lying chinmay sir obviously all of us have self respect he said sir please do not say that i am not speaking at all i am just here so that guy got offended the lecturer and said oh you are uh, obviously talking against me now okay today i was about to start amalgamation i obviously have not started amalgamation and you claim to be some brilliant guy so solve this problem so he gave one of the toughest problems which he knew for sure no one could solve one of the toughest problems he had given he said go solve it this was an attempt to mock chinmay sir again you know what chinmay sir did he went i still remember very very clearly the entire board was clean he wrote from the left hand side i still remember he took 12 minutes and he solved the entire damn problem without batting an eyelid without a calculator also and after that he put a double line when the balance sheet tallied 
put the duster down put, put the chalk piece down and he said sir it's done that fellow that lecturer did not know what to do it was a slap on his face all over again just like every single person who had mocked in my sir it was a slap on his face and he said okay if you already know everything why are you here just get out so sin my sir coolly went took the bag and just left the room and then he went there i remember he went there and he was studying somewhere else so we all face lot of problems so these are the people who we have to look up to right so do not worry friends let's take some motivation from people around us let's listen to their stories and this is one story which i wanted to share the second white rabbit banish the damn thing because white rabbits should be banished because what you have to see there is the gold chest that is waiting for you all right take care guys love you all cheers